the planets promise success and riches beyond your wildest dreams. This is so awesome. This means I can book our trip to Barbados. What? Why are we going on a trip to Barbados? Because like you said, it's really important for us to celebrate our successes. What successes? Our future successes? It's in my horoscope. You know horoscopes are bullshit, right? No, they're not. Why do you think that? Because they're in the newspaper and newspapers only report on true facts. Right. How do you think they find out your horoscope? They look at the sun and the earth and the stars and how they're like all in alignment and with the planets and other things like that. Right. And how does that relate to what happens in your life? Well, they look at it differently for people who were born at different times in the year. Yeah. And how do they do that? I don't know. I don't know the science behind how they get gluten out of gluten-free bread, but they do it. So you think there's a science behind your horoscope? Yes. Astronomy. That's the science you mean? Yes, exactly. Like the stars. Energy. Horoscopes are astrology, Beck. Astrology isn't a science. Astronomy is a science. Astronomy is the study of stars and planets and real scientists investigate real things in real observatories. Yeah, but some things are inexplicable, like God or the spirit world, or like how sometimes your phone's GPS works even when you've run out of data. And also how sometimes like if you're looking for a summer romper on ASOS and then like an hour later you're on Facebook and you see the exact same romper come up in your newsfeed. But the Zodiac is superstition. The only reason we believe in it is because the predictions they make are vague enough to apply to almost anyone and yet still make us feel like special snowflakes. Untrue. For several decades, researchers followed almost 2,000 people who were born within a few minutes of each other. They're called time twins and according to astrology, they should have very similar traits. Traits of like liberans and cancer and stuff. Oh, like how because I'm Libra, I'm naturally very intuitive, but I'm also very charming and modest. Yeah, so anyway, the researchers looked at over 100 characteristics, everything from their occupation to their sociability levels, anxiety levels, even their artistic ability. And do you know what the scientists found? What? Nothing. There was no evidence of similarity between people born at similar times. Like, the Cancerans were just as similar to the Librans as they were to each other. Untrue. Whatever. Anyway, even if you wanted to believe in the Zodiac, it's so old now, it's completely out of date. 2,000 years ago, when they mapped out the star signs, the sun was in a certain position relative to the Earth and the other stars. But since then, the Earth has wobbled on its axis, and the position of the stars relative to Earth and the sun has shifted so much that your horoscope is almost a month off. So even though astrology says you should be a Libra, you're actually probably a Virgo. Well, that makes sense because I've always been analytical and highly skeptical. That's a perfect description of me. <laughs> Thanks, astrology. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching PsyQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.